Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to describe the installation and setup of Python for use with SynthEyes and, and vice versa. Now, Python is a programming language for workflow automation that's commonly used in visual effects, and typically that's by you know, technical director sort of people. Now, there's a new rolling shutter analysis script that's written in Python, so I'm expecting that some less technical users are going to want to be running that, and to do that you need to use Python and set that up. So that's what this tutorial is about. There are, of course, directions in the manual, and the, and the latest manual has some updated directions. This is to actually just run through it and show you what it's about, and it's, it's not really very complicated. So Python, you know, not only is it a little technical, but Synthize is designed to work with whatever Python the operating system is providing. And there can be multiple versions of Python in an operating system. So you can have 2.6, 2.7, and you, you can also use Synthize with the Python that's built into other applications. So that might be your Cinema 4D or uh, Adobe products, uh, uh, Autodesk products also, that have Python built in. And you can talk to Synthize directly from the Python in those other applications. So there are a lot of potential places that Synthize can be installed to. And for that reason, Synthize doesn't go and install its, its uh, support code into any particular Python. So that, that's up to you to figure out where it needs to go and put it there. It's not, it's not particularly complicated, but you do need to go and do that. So the first thing to know is that on Windows, there isn't a built-in Python. Now you may have it in an application and might use it from there, but you can also just go to the python.org site and look at their downloads and just you want to pick out the latest Python Two version here it's 2.7.11 and download and install that and you can use anything from 2.6 or later but you do want to stick with that and not the Python 3 series which is a bit different so once you've downloaded and installed that you need to set up the interface library for Python to be able to talk to Synthize and that's called SciPy S-Y-P-Y and you need to get the latest version of that if you don't have that already, depending on when you're viewing this tutorial. You can tell if you've got a rolling shutter analysis script on the scripts list in Synthize, then you're going to have a suitable SciPy version. If not, you want to go out here to the customer area of the support site and look in the scripts area and there's a package of stuff that includes that script, the suitable SciPy library, and the uh, updated documentation. So the basic idea here is just we're going to go and dig into the Synthize install on your computer. So this is Synthize itself. You know it's got your executable. This is this is on Windows of course. And in there, there's a folder that's SciPy. So that's what we're, we're getting. And the other place that we're getting, that we're going to put it into, let's just back up here, is into Python itself. Here on Windows, it's just installed uh, Python 2.7. It's in the C drive directly. There's this folder lib. And in lib, there's a folder called site packages. And this site packages folder is where SciPy goes. So you can just drag it from one to the other. And you're going to need to you know, typically go through a little security prompt at that point. And that's, that's what you need to do to install the SciPy library into the Python. In this particular case, it would probably <laughs> be a good idea to to do a copy instead, so that would be better. And you're good to go from, from that standpoint. Now on other operating systems, the locations of these are a little bit different. You know, on, on 
Mac, you've got slash application slash synth eyes that you've got uh, that SciPy library in. And it goes out into slash library. On a Linux system, you've got slash opt slash synth eyes. And it goes into user lib Python. So those folder locations are listed in the SciPy documentation in a section called Configuring Python and Synthize. So the first, first step is always just to copy that SciPy folder into the folder called Site Packages. And for other applications, you know, if you look around on your machine, this is just doing a search in the uh, program files area on my machine, you know, you can see that this same Site Packages folder is sitting out here in After Effects, and it's sitting out there actually two different version of an, versions of it in Cinema 4D. So if you copy that SciPy folder into site packages of those other applications as well, then you're going to be able to talk from directly inside a Python script that you start from you know, Cinema 4D and have Cinema 4D make SynthEyes do something. So you can do your workflow integration tasks that way if you want as well. So there, there are all, you know, all kinds of fascinating possibilities there if you're into that sort of thing. If not, if you just want to run the rolling shutter script, you just need to copy that uh, SciPy folder over into wherever your Python is on the machine. And then the one other thing that you need to do is go to Synthize itself. And you go down in the preferences to the system area and it needs to know where the Python is to be able to run on your particular machine, which Python you want it to start when you go to run a Python script on Synthize. And I'll point out that here I'm showing python.exe on this Windows system, and that will put up a, a black box that's a command window that, that shows the debugging output of Python. It's kind of handy and interesting when you're running the rolling shutter script. You can kind of see what it's doing as it's doing it. If you use Python W here on Windows, then it doesn't put up that window. So depending on what you want to do, you can use either Python or Python W on your Windows system. On uh, Mac and Linux, there's just basically the Python version. The file names are different. And you won't see that debugging output, at least that way. So that gives you an idea how you can do this setup. I'll point out also if you are a serious Python programmer, you can probably put the SciPy library directly into the site packages for your favorite Python debugging environment. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. If you just want to run the script, all you're really doing is copying that folder from one spot to another and making sure you got the right thing here and calling it a day, and on you go. So thanks for watching.